Hi everyone, my name is Joyce Chow and today I'll be talking about how to come up with art project ideas. If you don't have commissions at this moment and you want to create art but you have no idea what to create, I highly recommend reading this book, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. It is a children's book, however it is definitely one of my favorite books of all time. Um, I'm going to just turn to a certain page. So basically the premise of the book is if you give a mouse a cookie, then he's going to want, you know, he's going to want milk, then he's going to want something to go with the milk and you want a straw. And it's just kind of a, a cycle of these events that happen. Uh, and probably my favorite two pages of the book are when he wants to draw a picture. So you'll want to draw a picture and you can see that he's creating and the reader isn't sure what he's going to create next but if we look at the next page he creates a family portrait which is just so sweet and endearing um, and I'll let you read the book on your own if you haven't before but just wanted to share this book to share the point of you may not know what you want to create but there's so many things that you can create it's a matter of taking a walk outside and looking around and observing like the clouds or um, the trees and using that and your life experiences as part of your inspiration for what you want to create. There is another piece that I, well, I'm gonna start showing pieces of artwork actually that I've done. Um, I think these pieces, I feel like I was the most creative with, but at the same time, I think about what helped me come up with the ideas were life experiences or movies I read or books that I, or movies I've watched or books I've read. Um, so I'm gonna start off actually with this piece. So this was made in high school um, and <laughs> it's kind of creepy, uh, but it's actually supposed to be a self portrait of me. And it was inspired by actually two Disney movies. So the first one was actually Toy Story. So you can think of the aliens that are always like the claw, you know? Um, so hence the claw and it's like a vending machine. And then the balls, um, I thought about a play on of words of like eyeball. So, and, and that's what I like to do a lot in, in some of my more uh, surrealist pieces, I'd say. So this piece is definitely one that I like to, you know, use play on words. And so I try to think of eyeball. And then if you've seen the Disney movie Hercules, um, the fates are portrayed and they share one eyeball. And so I, there's one scene that like one of the sisters is like picking up the eyeball and it's like really gross. Um, so that's like what inspired this piece. So it's a combination of Disney movies and then it's a self portrait. Um, yeah, and I made this piece it says fall of 2014 AP art. So I made this in high school and I think like looking back, there's definitely things that I would have liked to um, improve upon. Like I feel like I could have added more details to the balls in the vending machine, but I don't know, I, I still like this piece, uh, even though it's definitely like a bit more eerie <laughs> than most of my other pieces that um, are usually more joyful. Um, that's one I tried to take a bit of a risk with. And that leads me to another um, kind of interesting piece that I did. So if you've heard of the Virginia Summer Residential Governor School for Visual and Performing Arts, that's a month long program for um, high schoolers. Usually they're either rising juniors or seniors in high school. So I went, I had applied during my sophomore year of high school, but I didn't get accepted. And then I applied again and then got accepted during my junior year to go before my senior year of high school. Um, but during that time we had, we weren't really encouraged by our teacher to like make big pieces. He wanted us to try an experiment with small pieces. And then we would have these like weekly evaluations, which was pretty fun. Um, but this is something that I made um, during that time. Um, it's a donut with a person um, being eaten by the donut. So I was thinking about the concept of you are what you eat. And 
it was interesting because I actually saw this, and I, there was another piece that I did before this one that inspired this one, but I saw a man walking with a cup of coffee and I thought, what if that was reversed? Like, what if um, instead of the man holding the coffee cup, it was the coffee cup holding the man? And yeah, I think that's something that helps me when I'm trying to think of ideas, like creatively, um, just asking a lot of questions. Um, so that's what I turned, like how I made this. And then this eventually became a piece that I did for my AP Studio Art class um, right here that you can see. Um, I'll hold it up here too. Yeah, looks kind of yellowish here, but um, I'll, I'll put it here. Yeah. So this piece um, is titled Coffee Break. <laughs> so once again, I'm trying to do play on words. So it's kind of a narrative telling about and, and, and criticizing in a way um, the corporate world. Um, not saying that I'm not trying to like criticize um, for the good things that happen in the business world, but I'm just trying to tell the narrative of how it can be like work can be very consuming and tiring um so for people like for people that need to drink coffee every day um this is kind of showing like the exhaustion of the man working and how the coffee is like in in a sense um consuming him versus him consuming the coffee and also with the donut um yeah, I, I think this piece has aspects that I'd, I think there's some proportions that were off. Um, so it would be kind of nice to like do this again, how many years later, seven years later. And um, even the background, so the background is like this painting is entirely in acrylic. And I wanted the background to look as if I used like a white color pencil on top of black paper but it's really just black acrylic and then white acrylic on top of it. Yeah, so that's another piece. This piece I actually made for my mom, Mama Chow, and she taught me how to make homemade dumplings. So I decided, hey, why not make, you know, a flower looking, like a flower out of dumplings. So that's, that's what inspired this piece. I tried to think about a sunflower and what if I made dumplings look like a sunflower? And that brings me to another art project idea. So I love making homemade dumplings. So I, for an art project, I made a clay homemade dumpling, but then I painted it gold, um, inspired by actually Gail, my good friend, Gail, who's an artist from London and she loves painting with gold. So I was really inspired by her to paint my dumpling gold. And then I realized that that actually was not an original idea. Like someone else had painted gold dumplings before. I need to look up the name. Um, but this is my own clay dumpling. And so I think with creativity and trying to come up with ideas, it's okay to, to maybe, um, you know, if you want to paint a tree, just try to think about how can you make that tree your own and tell a personal story. So I added a um, umbrella, a paper umbrella to personify this dumpling. So what I like to do in a lot of my projects is either like personify things that are inanimate or um, make things into something else. So with the dumplings, I wanted it to resemble a flower so I put the cabbage in a, in a manner that would look like leaves of a flower and, you know, obviously put the dumplings in the shape of, of petals. Um, so yeah, these are some more ideas. And then I finally have two more pieces to just kind of sum up what I'm trying to say about picking art projects. It's really up to you, like what you want to do. You'd be surprised by where you can find ideas. Um, but, I chose to do this piece based on animal crackers. So this title is called Animal Crackers, hence the animal crackers. But I thought, oh, you know, the animal crackers are based on 
real animals, but what if it were reversed? Like what if the animals were either turning into real animals or the animal crackers were turning into real animals or the animals were turning into the animal crackers? So it's, it's kind of that, those questions again, I'm asking those questions of like, what if? Um, so the little boy's about to eat the elephant, but then these elephants are coming to be like, hey, don't eat the elephant, <laughs> eat something else. Kind of like Chick-fil-A, eat more chicken. Um, so yeah, this piece is also in acrylic and I made this for my AP art class in high school. But finally, this piece is more recent. This is the most recent out of all the pieces that I've shown. Um, but this one is based on a photograph. So this is, <laughs> this is me uh, from my childhood. I think I was about maybe six or seven. Um, and then I'm about to catch a water bottle, or a water balloon, sorry. And I included some of my favorite animals. One of my, well, my favorite animal is a panda bear. And then my second favorite are white tigers. And so I wanted to put them together as if they were like, I don't know, I thought about the movie. Um, a movie I watched a few months ago, it was called The Golden Compass and it's based off books, a book series. Um, but there are these like animals that are kind of like guardians. Um, so it's kind of like spirit animals, but I mean, yeah. So th these are like animals and I, I guess this piece represents how I want to encourage others and myself, like don't lose the wonder of life and, you know, like childlike faith. Um, so yeah, you can just see so much joy captured in that moment. Um, but also there is uncertainty because I'm smiling because I, I want to catch the water balloon and I don't want it to break. But I also know there's a possibility that it can break. So I guess with art, I encourage like my students and other artists to be willing to take risks. Um, I think a lot of times my favorite pieces of art started out one way and then I thought, hey, maybe I can try doing something else. And then one thing led to another and then the final product turned out to be so different than how I originally planned. And I think it's good to plan your artwork, but I think it's also neat to see how one element of your piece can lead to something else. So I think like with this piece, for example, I definitely did not see it becoming like this. Like I just started off with this picture and then painted around it. I think I started with the gold background because I thought about, oh, it'd be cool to have some sort of like waterfall looking thing. And then I added the tree. And then I think I added the panda, this panda first and then white tiger and then another panda and then a bull. Um, but yeah, it was, it was really fun to work on this project. And also, just final words, with my desk too, I think that is something else that I realized like, wow, um, it's really fun actually to, to challenge yourself to, to try to do projects that you don't think you would do. Um, so I never thought I would paint two koi fish on my desk, but I love them so much and I, I hope that this video was helpful um, I think coming up with art project ideas can be daunting at times, but I believe in you, you can do it, and don't forget to have fun through the process. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.